Welcome to Bonds News, your global window into current affairs. Houthi rebels in Yemen showcased their military strength in a rally, displaying anti-aircraft guns and rocket launchers as a response to recent US and UK strikes. Following this show of force, the rebels ordered US and British nationals to leave Yemen within 30 days, coinciding with the imposition of new sanctions by Washington and London. In a contrasting move, French President Macron unveiled an ambitious plan during his visit to India, aiming to welcome 30,000 Indian students to French universities by 2030. Macron emphasized the strategic importance of India as a key partner in the Indo-Pacific region, detailing initiatives such as expanding alliances franchises and streamlining visa processes for former Indian students. The International Court of Justice issued an interim ruling in South Africa's genocide case against Israel, directing measures to prevent and punish direct incitement of genocide in the Gaza conflict. The court ordered Israel to refrain from genocidal acts in Gaza, but stopped short of demanding a halt to military action. Over 25,700 casualties have been reported in Gaza since October. In a different context, an Alvama execution witnessed the distressing nitrogen gas execution of Kenneth Eugene Smith. Spiritual guide Jeff Hood described Smith's visible pain, convulsions, and 22 minutes of agony during the execution, highlighting a deeply unsettling experience that even prison officials reacted to with horror. Former Maldives President Ibrahim Mohamed Solia extends greetings on India's 75th Republic Day. Despite an ongoing diplomatic row, Solia conveys warm wishes to President Draupdi Murmu, PM Narendra Modi, and the people of India. The gesture highlights the significance of nurturing diplomatic relationships, even in challenging times. The Padma Vibhushan Award 2024 a symbol of national achievement, is set to honor five distinguished individuals this year. The awardees include Ms. Vijayanti Mala Bali, Sri Konidela Chiranjeevi, Sri M. Venkia Naidu, Sri Bindeshwar Pathak, Posthumous, and Ms. Padma Subrahmanyam. Jammu and Kashmir experiences the season's initial snowfall after a prolonged dry spell. Many areas in the region are now covered in a picturesque white blanket, transforming the landscape into a winter wonderland. The snowfall brings good news after the extended period of dry weather in Kashmir. Former Telangana Deputy Chief Minister Mahmood Ali fainted during Republic Day celebrations. The ex-deputy CM collapsed at the event in Hyderabad, leading to an immediate response for medical assistance. Despite these efforts, his condition remained critical, casting a somber atmosphere over the Republic Day festivities in Hyderabad. Chiranjeevi unfurls flag at Chiranjeevi Blood Bank, emphasizing sacrifices for freedom. Republic Day is special for the megastar, highlighting 45-year social service, especially the blood bank. Expresses gratitude to supporters for significant contributions. Biharis Town President Nagaraju arrested for illegal land encroachment in Kammam. Accused with Srividya under Go 59, cancelled registration of 415 SQ yard plot. Illegal structures demolished, Nagraju, A2, was on the run, Srividya, A1, granted bail. Nagraju accused of obstructing police, faces judicial remand. Stay tuned for the latest updates. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss a breaking update. Thank you for choosing BGN channel as your source for up-to-dominant news.